John Paul Rye coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and I want to talk today about why seemingly there are so many leaks and why seemingly a lot of the cast and even JJ himself doesn't seem so concerned with how good The Rise of Skywalker does. And I was just thinking about this today and then it kind of came together based on something a friend, you could say, said to me, I don't know, very long time ago. So, there's somebody by the name of Stephanie Janizek, and what she told me was that there's a lot of infighting in Lucasfilms. So, I wasn't totally sure about this. You know, I knew there, was, there must be some infighting in Lucasfilms, but I wasn't sure to what extent there was infighting. Now, it connects to the leaks because of this. If there's infighting in Lucasfilms, and if there's people like me who really, really dislike the Disney Trilogy, and The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, well, there must be people like me who don't want to see it succeed, don't want to see it do well, and also just outright don't like it so much. So probably those people in Lucasfilms are kind of helping leaks along here and there. You know, we have J.J. and Kathleen Kennedy, but they're doing administration work, they're doing high-level jobs, okay? It's the people who are in Lucasfilms, who have all the grunt jobs, all the little jobs that make the wheels go round, that make the publications come out, that make the advertisements come out, that do the connections between setting up appointments and things like that. So I think a lot of these people there are probably, you could say, on my side or your side, and they're letting these leaks come through. So what got me really thinking about this is the fact that J.J. Abrams confirms there will be an epic kiss in episode 9. So we gotta safely assume that epic kiss is not gonna be between Rose Tico and Finn. It's not gonna be between Poe and Finn, although, you know, I guess some people might want it to be. It's not. That's not happening. So it's gotta be between Rey and Kylo. That's the only explanation, and that also lines up with the leaks we got about the final kiss, how, you know, Rey dies and Kylo kisses her back to life. Fantastic. I'm cringing already. But the point is, I'm thinking, why would J.J. say that? And J.J. might be one of those people who kind of doesn't like the way the three movies turned out. Even though he's heading it, even though he's got a lot of power, he doesn't have all the power. He can't make all the decisions. What I heard was that Kathleen Kennedy was the one who had the idea to push Luke aside even more, push Palpatine aside even more, and boost up Ray's character. Does that sound like something J.J. would do, or something that Kennedy would do? I think Kathleen Kennedy. I think she's on a mission to really burn this thing down, and what she wants to do is have one final bang before she really starts losing power, or eventually leaves the company. She's going to sit back, you know, in her evil throne room, and get a great laugh while all the fans who have loved the franchise for 40 years, or 35 years in my case, just kind of cringe to death at what's going on. So, like I was saying, the infighting theory that my friend Stephanie Janizek had does make sense as to why leaks would be coming out like they are, and why JJ and some other cast members like John Boyega don't seem to care so much anymore. Because if you are in a company that is a franchise that's in trouble or doing its worst ever historically by far, then you probably want to try to save the thing. You probably want to do everything you can. And I don't mean just like talking it up in the media, like, oh, yeah, it's a good movie, wink, wink, like Anthony Daniels. Oh, yeah, it's a great ending, blah, blah, blah. You want to really try to save the thing by inside work, by really, you know, pushing for good ideas and things that could actually help it. So the point is, this infighting seems to me like the truth looking at it now, and that's because, look at the leaks, look at the attitude, look at the demeanor. When they take these interviews, they're like robots. They're just kind of like, yeah, and I did this because I think that would be good. The soundtrack is nice, and the acting is good. It's pretty much like, I don't know, like a fourth grade play. And it just makes it look like there's infighting. So, going off on a little rant here, but that's okay. I think I made the point pretty clear. Now I want to talk a second about me and personally the movie. 
I've stated in this channel quite a few times that I'm going to 90% not see it, 10% maybe see it, if it's good. Now the situation comes up where I've got some people who would like to have it reported on by me, because yes, I will do some kind of very special epic rant about my true feelings, but I'm also kind of struggling. I'm saying this right now, eight days before the movie, is I don't want to see it. I don't want to sit there and see it and watch Kylo and Ray kiss. I don't want to sit there and watch Ray beat Palpatine, even though in my heart it's not real. It is still the real actor who plays Palpatine, you know. So, oh man. Ian McDermott? Okay, I think I said his name right. There we go, it came out. But the point is, I wouldn't just be seeing it to make a video and to get views and things like that. Although, yeah, I'd admit that would be a part of it. You know, um, it's unclear why I'd be seeing it. That, that's it. That's an unedited fact. It's unclear why I'd be seeing it. If I don't want to see it for actual enjoyment, you know, I guess you could say I would like to see the train wreck with my own eyes. Sure, like it's a fantastic circus at this point. So it's part of history witnessing that. That's part of it. But as you guys can see, I'm pretty conflicted. One part of me wants to be like, you know what? Hell no, I don't want to go see it. And even if I like do the old switcheroo, I pay for a Japanese movie and I go see The Rise of Skywalker, even making a review still gives the movie promotion. It still gives it attention, which is not what I think I want to do. But, I mean, we'll see. Because subscribers are important. Without subscribers, you have no channel. And it seems like a lot of people here do want to see me see it. See me see it. Hear me see it. All right. Sorry, a little confusing, a little ranty, but, you know, as my definitive thought, I don't know. It's tough to say. And I have kids, I've got a tough, tough schedule, so it might not be possible to see it until a couple of days after it's out anyway. Alright, I'm doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't. If you don't like the direction of Hollywood in general right now, and especially the Disney trilogy, you will probably enjoy these videos and... Yeah, that's all I could say. That's all I want to say. We got to end this thing. See you next time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.